Hello guys, um, following on from our last video when we used create guides to create a nice grid uh, design layout first uh, to position things uh, uh, equidistant and beautifully spaced uh, on this uh, mock-up of a web page. I'm going to show you how you can use the interactive features of InDesign to create a mock-up that you can share with clients so they can check designs before they pass them on to a web developer or an app developer. So I'm going to do this by utilising buttons and object states. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pull some images into this design that I can flick between using buttons. Uh, so like a slide slideshow really and, and I'm just going to go grab these images here I'm just going to just grab five of these guys I don't want to go too crazy so I'll just grab those five Oop, I can't count hold on shift let's pull those guys in and I'm literally just going to drag those into InDesign Right, I'm just going to pull them out and I'm just going to pull them out from this guide element here. Don't worry, you can resize these guys at any point, don't worry about that. I'm just going to push, 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 just whack those all in. There we go, fantastic. And then I'm going to show you quickly how to use a line to make these do what you need them to do. Now, of course, you can hold down Command and Shift and resize things to your margins should you wish to do so. I'm just going to do a little bit of a resize on these guys so that they do touch my margins. So Command Shift will help you resize things proportionally and make sure that your frames move at the same time as your images that they are uh, that, that, that are contained within the frames. I'm just going to now use my black arrow tool to drag around all of those guys. And over here in properties, you'll see that the align features have popped up. First and foremost. Um, if you haven't already, align the top edges so they are nicely stacked on top of one another. And then I'm just going to go for this align horizontal centers option to stack them all beautifully here. And uh, because they're all selected now, I can just use my pink smart guide to just put those in the middle of my page. Very nice, ready to go. They are all still selected at the moment. If you've accidentally unselected your guys, don't worry, we'll come back and select them in a minute. I'm just going to go up to Window and I'm going to go down to Interactive and I'm going to select Object States to open up my Object States panel. So this is a way of controlling what images that you can see on your design at any given time. And I'm just going to use my black arrow tool again, like I said, if you have deselected your objects, just click and drag around a clear area where you can grab all of those states at once. And now I'm going to click to make a new multi-state object, i.e. this image will change when I select a button to make it move. And I'm going to click on that icon there. You can rename your states by your images if you want to, but I'm, I'm just going to, just in case I've got a couple of object states on the go here, I'm just going to call this portfolio. Just in case you've got others on the go. I've just got caps lock on, don't worry about that at the moment. Um, so I've just renamed that. That's okay, that's all good. Uh, and that state is now ready to go. You can see the sort of like a line around it that indicates that that state has been created. There it is, portfolio state. Right, now let's make some buttons in order to control how we see this. I'm just going to go grab from the window menu and if I just go down to buttons, uh, if I just go down to interactive first and always, um, and buttons and forms, there are if you go to the fly menu of buttons and forms, some sample buttons that you can grab, but you can literally turn anything that you want into a button. I'm just gonna go grab, shift click these little gray arrows here, and I'm just gonna pull these guys onto my page. There they are. Um, but if you wanted to, you could draw out your own buttons and we'll turn them into buttons. And I'll show you how to do that as well. Literally, um, what shall I do? I'll just grab a text box here and I'll just put uh, a, a HTML angle bracket in there. Let's just make it a bit bigger. And I'm just going to grab that text box and alt drag it to make a copy and replace that with its uh, right hand counterpart. So I've got a left and a right uh, 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 angled bracket there that I can turn into buttons. To turn something into a button, you literally can select it from your buttons and forms panel that you've opened up, just select button. It is now a button and now you can give it a behavior.
It's that simple. Anyway, I'll just delete these guys because I'd rather use the built-in ones today. So you can see that there is an action set on this button right now. Go to previous page. I'm going to remove the actions from these buttons because I don't want any actions on them right now because I'm going to use them to control states. So I'm going to select this left hand arrow right now. I'm going to select add new action and go to previous state. So that's the left hand button so that will take me back through my images if I need it. I'm going to select that right hand arrow now. Again add a new state going to next state. That's all you need to do. Now you will notice that because I've only got one state object here that I can control it's just come up with portfolio here. You do need to make sure that if you have got multiple states or multiple objects in state uh, on a page that you select the right one but I was okay to just go ahead and do that. Right, fantastic. I'm going to close down that panel. And now I can move these guys anywhere I want to on my page. I'm just going to align these guys centrally underneath my navigation box here. Uh, and I'm going to control from here. You can move them out if you want. You don't have to move them all at the same time. So this guy could come and align on my design here this direction and this guy could come and align here using my green smart guys I'm just aligning those guys let's check and see what that looks like in preview mode I'm happy with that escape to exit that presentation mode and now let's see how this might work um, so you can actually select object states and preview them by hitting this preview icon here hit play and you can preview interactivity so you can see your little buttons there you can make this box a little bigger there if you want to see how your buttons are going to play through that looks great to me but if you want to share this with a client the easiest and best way to do this is to use InDesign's clever publish online feature that utilizes the Adobe Creative Cloud in order to store your file and give you a shareable link that you can show to any art director or team leader that you need to share your designs with. So let's do that. I'm just going to publish online, publish new document. I have done a test publish before, but I'm just going to go with this. I'm going to go with Caroline Blogs website one as a single page or double page depending on how you're putting your designs forward I'm just obviously going for a single page here you can give it a description if you want and I'm just going to hit publish now it's going to upload my document to the creative cloud and you can see it's uploading there I've got a fairly slow upload speed at the moment haven't we all but if I just push that through and wait for it, to be honest, actually it's going really fast. Now that I, this is what happens when you call something slow, it just speeds itself up automatically. You can share this link, copy and share it. You can share it on your social networks or what have you, but you can copy that link and send it to any client you need to in order to see how that might look. I'm just going to hit view document because I've got no one to send this to at the moment. I'm just going to view it. That looks great. And let's click, click through and check that my buttons are working as anticipated. Isn't that clever and very, very, very neat. So if you needed to make a small, informal, um, linked document to send somebody really quickly because your website's down or hasn't been created yet, you could do it this way. So enjoy.